You got fire in your eyes. Nothing hides from you. You see everything. Even the deepest secrets of men, Lord. Expose every evil. Consume every wickedness. And give us the victory, Lord. Come and manifest yourself. So we say, consuming fire. We worship you today. You are the old consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself, oh, consuming fire. We bow before your throne. You are the old consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. A very good morning, my dear friend. I'm praying and trusting the Lord that this word of encouragement finds you well today. Today we're continuing on with our series from Revelation 18. And as always, I encourage you, read the whole chapter because I know that you'll be blessed as you do that. So, um, just a little quick summary of Revelation 18. So finally, Babylon has fallen. Babylon has fallen. So yes, so here in this chapter, we see that Babylon has fallen. And all those who are fraternizing with her are crying because distraction has just come upon them just like that. Because it says within a day, actually within an hour, destruction was upon Babylon and it was no more. You couldn't even see it and you couldn't even find it and or recognize that there was Babylon there anymore. But now for us who are in Christ Jesus, the Lord calls for us to rejoice. Why? Because finally he has avenged us. Finally, we get to see our victory. We get to see the punishment upon Babylon. And um, so if you are in Christ Jesus, no matter how hard, no matter how tough things are for you, let me just encourage you, hold on to him the more. Why? Because you already know the ending. You already know that victory is already ours in Christ Jesus. And if you don't have Christ in your life, let me just encourage you. Our Father is an all-compassionate and loving Father. He is waiting for you to come home, waiting for you with open arms. Please just ignore the background. Um, I've got babies here with me, so <laughs> please just ignore the noise. Don't worry, they're not on their own. They're with their dad, so it is well with us. So now... um. And as I also read the scripture, I was encouraged to look at Psalms 37, verse 1 to 4. It also says that, you know, for us who are in Christ Jesus, we shouldn't look at the, you know, the evildoers and be envious of them just because it looks like they're succeeding. Because just like grass, they'll soon wither away. And that's the same thing that we see here in Revelation 18. And if I were to also encourage you the more, um, we can look at verse 8. And I'll read it to the glory of King Jesus. So Revelation 18, verse 8. And it says, Therefore in one day her plagues will overtake her. Death, mourning, and famine. She will be consumed by fire. For mighty is the Lord God who judges her. So my dear friend, I pray that you be encouraged. And you were encouraged by Revelation 18. And today is also Thanksgiving Friday. So we get to thank the Lord for who he is and for all that he has done for us. Now, my dear friend, if you're ready, let us pray. To your wise and all-knowing king, to you, our daddy, the one who we call our own, the one who loves us all oh, beyond all measure. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. And Father, we worship you. Thank you for you are the all-consuming fire. Father, anything and everything that does not look like you around our lives, consume it right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray anyone everywhere that is darkness in my dear friend's life, consume it in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare, let there be like we pray for peace that surpasses understanding and father is it's also our thanksgiving friday today we just want to thank you for just who you are we just thank you for all that you have done because indeed even if we haven't seen it manifest yet we know that it's already done so god thank you for taking us from january now we're in october thank you for taking us from monday and today is a friday father we thank you for giving us life father we thank you for all that you have done we thank you know the wings of revelation 18 father indeed vengeance is yours so we give you a worry our doubts, all the negativity, we give it unto you. Why? Because we know that when you avenge, we get the victory. And that's what you want because you tell us not to worry about anything. Why? Because you are our daddy. Father, thank you for this amazing love that you so lavishly pour upon us. To you be all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration. We thank you, O Jehovah, for all that you have done. Because as I've already said, it means it is already done. Thank you, Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray and we say amen. Now, as always, my dear friend, be encouraged, be strengthened, and keep winning. I will see you on Monday. More grace.